August 9th, 1945. The Nagasaki nuclear explosion. August 6th, 1945. The Hiroshima nuclear explosion. Since these World War II attacks, nuclear weapons have become even more powerful. The Hiroshima bomb produced an explosion of 15 kilotons. One kiloton equals the explosive power of a thousand tons of TNT. If it was detonated in New York City's Times Square, this is what it would look like. The radius of the affected area would be almost a mile long. This yellow circle indicates the radius of the explosion's fireball. Within the red circle, fatalities are near 100%, and all concrete structures are damaged or demolished. Within the gray circle, most residential structures are destroyed, and there are massive injuries and fatalities. The orange circle indicates the area in which third-degree radiation burns occur. But the sheer destructive power of that explosion pales in comparison to the largest thermonuclear weapon currently in the United States arsenal, the B-83. Created in the late 1970s, the B-83 can produce an explosion of up to 1,200 kilotons, which is 80 times the Hiroshima explosion. That's the explosive power of 1.2 million tons of TNT. If dropped on New York City, the radius of the affected area would be over seven miles. Then, there's the 1954 Operation Castle Bravo, the largest nuclear bomb ever tested by the United States. It produced a 15,000 kiloton explosion, which is over 1,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. If detonated in New York City, the radius of the affected area would be over 21 miles. But there's even one more powerful than that. On October 30th, 1961, the Soviet Union tested the Tsar Bomba. It is the most powerful weapon ever detonated. It produced a 50,000 kiloton explosion. That's 3,300 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. The mushroom cloud was so tall that it dwarfed anything on Earth. If dropped on New York City, the radius of the affected area would be over 31 miles. The Tsar Bomba was created over five decades ago. Today, there are an estimated 14,900 nuclear weapons in the world. If not for the Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty of 1963, we might have even more powerful bombs today. All right, President Trump's decision to keep some troops in Syria in his attempt to protect the oil isn't really sitting well with a lot of countries around the world. RT's Julie Varghese has the story. Today at the United Nations in Geneva, Iran, Turkey, and Russia expressed their concerns about the U.S. redeploying troops to, quote, protect Syrian oil. They also reaffirmed their commitment to Syrian sovereignty. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif had a lighter take. It seems that the United States is staying to protect the oil. Uh, uh, and at least President Trump uh, is honest to, to say what the United States intends to do. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov brought the facts. The actions of the United States in Syria are clearly in violation of international law. The US-led coalition is there illegally and against the will of the government in Damascus. The US made a statement saying it is staying in Syria, days after it made another statement saying it's pulling out. And even those who left for Iraq are now coming back to Syria to save the oil fields from ISIL. This looks like a pretext to me. Now, this comes after Trump on Sunday announced he would let oil companies profit off Syrian oil that is being, quote, protected by US troops. This after Trump said he was pulling troops out of Syria, contradicting his rhetoric that he's trying to get the US out of the endless wars it started. All praises to the Most High Gods, that boy set apart, recording live from the Atlantic Broadcast Network in Jacob's Trouble in these final hours. Let's start here at 1 John 4 and 17. And it says, Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because 
as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out all fear, because fear has torment. He has fear, and say, he that has fear is not made perfect in love. This is to be your position as an Israelite that's keeping you, the commandments of God to the best of your ability, all blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? No fear. Stop fearing cowards. Stop fearing the day of doom, for it is the beginning of immortality. But also be serious about it because it's no time to play. All games, all bets are off. It's not a joke anymore. Okay, Esau knows it. Okay, so they're getting ready. And a lot of people talk about these bombs that's why i put that in the beginning of the video about these bombs uh they just say nuclear war nuclear bomb thermonuclear destruction da, da, da. they don't know what it means they don't know what these bombs do that's why i wanted to give you a little bit of history i was walking to, watching a documentary on youtube um that was called the bomb um check it out it's the bbc 2017 it came out check it out it's right on youtube you can watch it uh but it was really good talking about the history of the atomic bomb how it started robin robert omenheimer and how they did it and how they uh, came up with it. The sword. He saw his blessing. The sword. So, sorry, geopolitically, man, it's going down, man. Uh, Esau's falling off. He's he's finished. He's done. America, America, America has fallen. Okay? Way before the bomb is dropped. But it's coming. Very soon. And I'm sure that you heard Lavinov, right? Russia's prime minister. Sitting right next to Iran. Sitting right next to Turkey. Okay? And... They have their little commissionary year. They're, they're together. You know what I'm saying? The dragons of Arabia have formed together around Russia. But they're telling you what America is doing right now is highly illegal. We see y'all get thrown. Um, potatoes got thrown at you when you did your so-called withdrawal from Syria. You left out of Syria. Okay, they threw bricks at you. Okay. Then you went to Iraq. Iraq said, we don't want you here. Okay. So then you left Iraq, came back, and started stealing the oil from uh, Syria. And they're saying this is highly illegal. And they're at that Geneva Convention at the UN telling you how illegal that this is. And this is a pretext to war. They've been saying this. They've been saying this for a very long time. It's just coming to the point where everybody in the world is seeing it now. You know what I'm saying? Iran, Russia take aim at U.S. military presence near Syria oil fields. And it says, says here in this report, it says, well, it seems uh, that the United States is staying to protect the oil. And at least President Trump is honest to say what the United States intends to do, Zarif said, to, in laughter. Iran, Russia are there on the invitation of the Syrian government. Okay, so Iran and Russia are supposed to be there because the Syrian government invited them to Syria. You do not even belong there. And you, now you want to steal the oil, which is illegal. And we intend to stay there as long as the Syrian government and the Syrian people want us to be there. He said, Lavinov said, um, Lavinov said that the return of the U.S. forces to Syria after the transfer to Iraq was under the pretext of protecting oil deposits uh, from the Islamic State. But we know what you're there to do. You're there to steal them people's oil, just like you did in Iraq and Afghanistan. And nobody cares that you so-called killed, you know what I'm saying, -Bag, Baghdadi, whatever his name is. We ain't never even heard of him, okay? Well, the public's never even heard of Baghdadi. But the point is, Baghdadi has been killed four or five times in the media, in the, uh, yes, right, the Western media. So it's a lie. We already know that's a lie. And Russia has been coming up against you for a long time. For what you're doing in Syria, man. You're robbing these people of their damn oil and their resources. Like you do to every country, man. This is nothing new. With the imperialist stag on Western civilization. You know what I'm saying? That is fallen. It is fallen. It is fallen. Jeremiah, Jeremiah. Let's see. Let's start at Jeremiah 50. And let's start at 13. And it says, Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that go by Babylon or America shall be astonished and hiss at her plagues. Put yourself in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. So all that have ICBMs in the world, everybody who has a nuclear bomb, like you see in the beginning of the video, everybody who has one of these bombs, okay? That's right, shoot at her. Russia will lead the fray because they, as you've seen, they have the best bombs known to man. Hypersonic, China, Russia. Put yourself in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrow. For she has sinned against the Lord. Shout against her round about. She has given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance, 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 vengeance of the Lord. To take vengeance upon her. As she has done, do unto her. And Revelations 18 would tell us double. Do unto her double. Double, double. Ain't no more thinking, oh, we still got a year left. We still got a couple years left. No, we don't. You have hours. You are in these final hours. 
military. The U.S. continues to steal Syrian oil, sends forces back into Syria from Iraq. You see what they're doing? Never do anything that they said they're going to do. You said you was going to withdraw. Now you go back and they're going to come steal the oil? And I, like I said, I really don't get caught up in putting dates on everything. But let me tell you something. I, I haven't been able to shake this... Um, it's, it's a, I call it conspiracy theory, but it, it's a lot of predictive programming, okay, from the Simpsons to the TV shows, and I'm gonna show a couple more clips about it. But this date of 11 3, uh, November 3rd, and I've been hearing a whole lot of white people that do uh, videos. I've been hearing them, you know what I'm saying? This is the, what's on the word on the underground is, you know what I'm saying? These white folks really think they know that this is the new 9 11 date. So let's just be aware. I don't want you to get caught up in the sensationalism of it because if it don't happen, then you'll be looking at me like, oh, I thought you said it was going to happen 11 30. I didn't say that. I just said be be very aware because there's some a lot of uh, clues, a lot of TV shows that have been giving this date away. And you know that's how 9 11, they predicted 9 11 with their social um, engineering. This can't be real. What's happening? There's a Impact expected in 27 minutes. I know you're scared. I'm scared too. Put it down! How much time we got left? The Rookie, all new next Sunday, 10, 9 central on ABC. I know you like it. I was talking about the Watchmen in my last video, but that movie is talking about the destruction of America. It's talking about the doomsday and atomic scientists. And in that movie, the Watchmen, you see the man, the black guy, look at his watch, right? And he looks at his watch and it's November 2nd. You know what I'm saying? It says war, question mark, on the newspaper. You know what I'm saying? Are we going to war? World War Three? And then he looks at his clock and it says two right there because it's November 2nd. And you hear Rorschach saying, you know, the dates and the time throughout the movie. So they say uh, the third, but the movie uh, Watchmen said the second. I'm just saying be, be cautious, man. This is, we're in that time right now. Not be like the hypocrites that can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the time. But we already know, the scriptures already tell us that Jesus doesn't even know when Jesus is coming back. No man knows the day of the hour. Not the angels, not the son, but the father. Okay? So my thing is, if they say in the third, which is Sunday, you know what I'm saying? I would say look out before then. You know what I'm saying? Anytime after that. Look out, man. Be careful. The, uh, should I have to say it? Halloween? We shouldn't be celebrating? Do I got to tell you that? You know what I'm saying? We, you know that's a pagan holiday. It's, they, they, the devil loves the fact that you want to go worship that damn uh, holiday and celebrate that trick-or-treating. It's wrong. It's off. Do not participate in this crap. Do not yield your members over to sin because that's when they have more power of your actions, thoughts, and your mind. Take note, this mind, when I told my last video, I took a break on it because that mind control, you got to break out, man. That mind control is big right now. There's no bodily function that does not operate without the mind. So if you have somebody's mind, there's nothing that you can't control. Don't I tell you they control my hair growth? They control my, my digestive system? They control my sleep? Because why? They have, yes, right, mind-altering technology. So don't let these brothers lead you astray, okay? There's plenty of brothers out here, all right? You know what I'm saying? But they're with the program. They're, they're here to influence Jesus as King Kanye West. Let that crap go. These brothers with two million, billion, gajillion dollars, but they ain't doing nothing for the black community. But talking about let's go to go to church, even if you're a Hebrew Israelite, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. You see what he's doing. You see what that is. God's using him just like he can use a donkey. He can use a bird or a bee or a tree or anything. OK, to get his message across to you. One of the elect, seal the elect, Lord, inherit the mess from the beginning. By Hashem of That's right. It's not a joke out here. It's time to go to slavery, Esau. Your time is through. As you have done, it shall be done unto you, you damn demons. That's right. You fed our babies the alligators. Now we're going to feed your babies the alligators. You hung us from trees. Now it's time for us to hang you from a tree now. So we can see how you don't like it. Russia is out here doing missile tests. That's right. Nuclear submarine missile tests. Okay. It's not a joke. North Korea just did two uh, missile tests. Oh, yeah. Did you see this story about how Israel is closing down all its embassies all around the world? What's that about? 
they know it's about to go down. They're preparing for a strike. You know what I'm saying? To be besieged from the land of Assyria is what they're waiting for. And they know it's coming. They know Iran is about to bounce back. You see Iran, him him laughing in the interview. You know what I'm saying? Because they sitting right next to Russia. They know what's going on. They know they got they got the world right now, man. Okay, so they know what's going down. I've been seeing this for a very long time. I always go right back to it. You know what I'm saying? The dragons of Arabia. Okay. Conspiring together with great power shall join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of Assyria and then shall the dragons have the upper hand remembering their nature and this is what we're seeing the dragons with the upper hand okay and from that point we already know that withdrawal failed that's verse 32 second Exodus 15 the withdrawal failed 33 you won't be besieged from the land of Assyria 34 nuclear war starts all right I'll take you here to second Ezra 14 34 it says therefore if so be that you will subdue your own understanding be born again rethink all you think you know about god in the bible okay it's, it says therefore so be that you will subdue your own understanding reform your hearts you shall be kept alive and after death shall obtain mercy you know what I'm but we will not all sleep remember that okay it says for after death shall the judgment come hold on for after death shall the judgment come so esau think you got in the way no but if you ain't die yet you ain't get away so after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again and then shall the names of the righteous be made manifest and the works of the ungodly be declared hallelujah to the most high god thank you lord for deliverance from the hand of my enemy and all that hate us raise up wrath and pour in the nation destroy the enemy make the time short bro let the covenant declare that one of his words that him is escape be consumed by the rage of fire by i pray all your strength from the lord it's time to get up out of here israel if you got any questions comments please get at me all right the beginning is near keep god's laws that live otherwise die